Nadi Briak of Sports View. We stay out of control, yet in control, and spend some time with the boys and their toys. Sala Nati Yelago Sports View on SABC2. Sinam Gelege Futugu Sports View. Now, Sisakubega getting a concept here to yes, speed, Nam Sanje. And we head to Naisna because Naisna is not only synonymous with oysters and marathons, but they are fast adding to their list hill climbing as a sport. We head to the King of the Hill shootout where the country's fastest and most powerful vehicles combined with their drivers and some of South Africa's celebrities to see who could get to the top the fastest. This is real. Boys and their toys. The route is relatively short, just 1.9 kilometers, which is not taken lightly by the drivers. The road rises 153 meters from the start to the finish. Oh, well, it's an exhilarating experience. It's uh, nerve-wracking and anything that gets your hands shaking is a good experience. I think it's one of the most really exciting and different events, racing events that one can go to. And always what's fantastic and nice is the spirit. Uh, you know, it's just a really great spirit and it's all about car lovers and petrol heads and that sort of thing. So that's why we're here. Today's activity, we have in town the scrutineering and documentation with the King of the Hill competitors for Saturday, Sunday, gather and uh, have their cars checked for safety, uh, issues like that. Then uh, they move on at uh, 2 o'clock into the main street where we block the main road off the N2 for an hour. The cars are on display there for public to come and have a, have a look at the car and talk to the drivers, mingle. So that's really great. This is a sixth Jaguar Somalia hill climb. Lots of spectators, lots of competitors. Uh, everybody's really excited about it, so we're excited about it. And uh, but then on the on track actions, Classic Car Friday, which is fantastic, fantastic old cars, brilliant 1927 Bugattis, all the way up to 1980 uh, newer modern cars, single seaters, and so on. Building on last year's success, the 2015 Jaguar Simola Hill Climb showed once again why it's fast becoming the premier highlight on the South African motorsport calendar. Well, I mean, we, we took on the sponsorship because we believe it's a great demonstration of what the Jaguar brand stands for. Um, our products are underpinned by primarily performance and seduction. Uh, and we build vehicles that uh, excite the senses. The Jaguar Smoda Hill Climb is undoubtedly a sensory overload. Uh, in terms of the community and what, what we've managed to achieve, it's, it's blown all our expectations out the water and this year has been even better than last year, so very, very happy. A good start is the key to a fast time, reaching over 200 kilometers per hour. Good vantage points offered spectators a most enjoyable day out. Yeah, I think it's a well-run organization. I think Ian Shosbury and, and, and Jaguar has done a marvellous job here today. The crowds have been tremendous. The track is good, the tent, the facilities is absolutely excellent. The track is a tight, twisting 1.9 kilometre section of road. I think it's a combination of a good handling motor car and uh, we need a bit of horsepower to get up the mountain as well to get it fast. Uh, as you know, we've done it a few times already, but um, the time started off a bit slow this morning and they've been improving as the day goes. And I would say by tomorrow, we could see that it's slightly faster, but not a lot faster. But it's really all about the support pit crew. Look, uh, we got a very, very good crew. My crew, you know, uh, Quinton and these guys, as well as Steve Clark, my partner in the racing business. Um, he's one of the world's best tuners in motorcars, as you can see from the horsepower and the way our cars perform. So I, I think uh, that the, the good side of Clark racing business is doing very, very well out there and, and, and as I said, Steve is, is a master and you can see he's standing at the moment and he's working out here. What would racing be without a fair measure of rivalry on the track? Absolutely, you know, I said to Jade one day, I said, give me a chance, he said, he says, you're going to beat me fair and square. There's no way he's backing down. So, the, yeah, it's there and, and uh, it'll never end, you know, the rivalry's always been there and, and we'll continue like that. If he's going to beat me, he must do it fair and square, so. There's uh, two more pistons and a whole lot more horsepower, but 
you know, hopefully I could be faster than him in the corners, the Evo's a good car, it's, it's actually so nice to see that two cars so radically different can be so close in the, in the race, you know, he's got six pistons, I've got four, you know, 1300 horsepower, I've got 600 horsepower, you know, he's 60 years old, I'm 38 years old, you know, and like we're so close to the times and there's different sectors where his car is working, his car works really well in the launch and in the first sector and My car works really well in the other sectors, you know, so I catch them slowly, but um, yeah, it will be great. And, and, and if we can mix it up like that tomorrow, it'll be really good fun. The success of the 2015 hill climb included the launch of the Jaguar XE, which was enjoyed by not only the 12,000 spectators, but also some very special oh, South African rugby heroes. Yeah, yo, yes, it's a, it's a nice breakaway for us. Um, and being here at the Jaguar Samala hill climb is, is amazing. Um, it's a spectacular event, and uh, it's just nice to see the, the weather playing along this year. Uh, yeah, I love it. I came here this morning. Uh, some of the other guys have been here since yesterday. But uh, enjoying it a lot. I like my fast cars. For me as well. I like I like cars and I like to, to see the old vibe. It's just a just an occasion as well for, for us to, to mingle with the people and the fans and you never know this rugby supporters here as well. So this that's gonna be really pretty important. Uh, I think I'll stick to rugby because I've seen what these guys do in cars and the last time I was going around the bends it was a bit scary. So I think for now I'll stick with rugby. Oh, it's been good. It's um you know it's so different to a usual rugby weekend in so many ways, so it's um, it's been fantastic. You don't realise how fast these cars can go up this hill, but how comfortably they sit on the road, you know. So it was a hell of an experience um, to be able to go at that speed up a, a windy hill like this, but uh, but a good thrill. I mean, the secret to this race is the start, it's the launch. That's everything. You've got to get that right. After that, the I mean, up, up to turn one is is not really just in a dead straight line. Then you've got the short straight, which is very bumpy, and that unsettles the car. And then you've got that big left hander after that. So you've got to just make sure you've got the car settled before that left hander. I don't know if you went if you go and film up there, you just see tire tracks leaving the course on that left hander. And then after that, it's all about just getting the corners right because it's, it's just a series of S's after that. You just got to time it and put the car in the right place. And if you do that, it'll it'll wiggle up the hill. Now that's a nice track. But as with all things motorsport, there's always going to be the thrills and the spills. Mohammed Dango found this corner just a little more than he could handle. Yeah, man, you know what, all thanks to the Almighty and having my family, my support here, everyone here. Yesterday was a bit of a tough day, I've, I've been sick all week and uh, so, you know, it put me a little down yesterday and everything, but we were positive. My dad was here and he kept me going and told me, no, we'll get the car sorted out and you're going to drive. So last night they pushed, I mean, I went to bed early and they were pushing till 1am. We had the help of so many guys here. This is the second year of our sponsorship of the Jaguar Somali Hill Climb. It's an incredibly important event to Jaguar uh, as a brand. Really, it reinforces our um, part of our DNA, which is all around performance and innovation, and really helps us to uh, elaborate on our racing pedigree uh, earned in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Uh, this is a 79B, a March 79B Formula Atlantic. Uh, this particular one comes from America, uh, raced by a guy called Derek Daly. Um, and I bought it in December last year, so it's new for me. Uh, but a car like this 78 or 78B won the South African Formula Atlantic Championships with Ian Schechter and runs a, a BDA, 1600cc motor. It doesn't make much horsepower, 220 horsepower, but the secret is it weighs 580 kilograms with me in it. After the first day's racing, it was Charles Arton that won the classic Conqueror in his 1979 Marsh Formula Atlantic. After two days of racing, a lot of fun was had by all. It was Dad, Desi Desmond Goodsight, that completed a perfect weekend becoming the new record holder and the 2015 King of the Hill champion. He joins an elite group of winners including Sarol van der Marwe, 
Jeff Mortimer, Willem Bart, Jade Goodside, and last year's winner, Franco Scribante. Life at this moment could not have been any sweeter. As promised, we always give you a mixed bag of sports like with Sports View. Pega Jelai Skale Corner with Yaku van der Faper, the multi talented young man. And then we went to Drifting, Corner Lai Gauteng, and finished off in Nisna with hill climbing and boys and their toys. Kuzak Bay Vigel Zayo, though, stay active and stay in sports. Next week on Sports View. We spend some time in Cape Town and catch up with a team of para volleyball players. Then we head to KwaZulu Natal for some equestrian sports and go show jumping at the Nissan Winter Classic. Swiss Alta drives ons raag oor die land. Die keer maak ons ons pad na Bloemfontein en spandeer tyd met een paar sterk manne en vrouwe. Well, catch us on Sports View next week Saturday morning on SAPC2, where you belong.